Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and today's episode is sponsored by Photomatix. Use Photomatix for all of your HDR needs. Photomatix Essentials is only $39, and I can tell you it works absolutely sensational. Now today, I'm going to actually give you a demonstration of Photomatix Pro, and we are using the Lightroom plugin. I want to show you how easy it is to use. So let's go ahead and get started. Once again, thanks to Photomatix for sponsoring. Okay, so the other day we were out and we were taking some uh, HDR shots, myself and my son. And what we were doing was doing bracketing shots. Now bracketing shots is just that. It's very easy to do, especially when you have a DSLR because you just settle on bracketing. And we used the three off. So three off means you have a normal exposure, one overexposed, and one underexposed. Then by using HDR software, we can bind those together. Now, to do that, all we do here in Lightroom is I select the three pictures that I bracketed, and I right click on top of those, and I just go down now, since I got the plugin loaded, I go to export, and we're gonna export to Photomatix Pro. Now when I do that, I get this little box that comes up here that says Setting for Processing Exported Files. It's going to align images. It's going to cropped align results just to make sure everything's perfectly aligned. And that's if you have a little bit of camera movement. And that's possible because I took these uh, handheld and we did it on um, high speed shutter. So that way you just hold the shutter down and it clicks your three shots. It uh, works very well. Remove ghost. That's if you think you have anybody in your shot. If you're taking pictures of water and the water's moving, you may have some ghosting. You might want to remove the ghosts. Remove noise. We're not going to worry about. And remove the abrasion. Abrasions. We're not going to worry about. Uh, we're not going to worry about the 32-bit HDR imaging or the automatically re-input into Lightroom uh, library. Which we, you know what, we may turn that on just to see if this actually uh, works pretty well here. And this is combine the file names or a custom file name. And we're going to call this uh, Rowboats. Uh, Rowboats. Uh, yeah, if I can put that in there, right? Rowboats HDR. All right. Output format. And we're going to output as a JPEG, not as a TIFF. All right. And we can stack with the selected photo. Well, um, we're not going to stack it. We're just going to let it import it and see where it goes. Let's go ahead and click export. What's happening now is those three pictures are getting basically exported out of Lightroom and put into the Photomatix software. I'm going to bring this over on the screen here so you can actually see this. I want to keep everything in the viewing screen so you can see exactly what's going on. And here we go. So here's all the parts and the pictures of Photomatix Pro. We're going to bring this over. This is our tone mapping. This is our actual picture. And I did find with this, if I move this slider over, I can actually make the picture a little bigger, just like you would think it would. Now, let's move our preset window up a little bit, right like that, so we can see what's going on. And there we go. Now, what Photomatix allows you to do is it allows you to take these and use I like using their presets because it's very easy to do the presets are over here on the right hand pane in this little slideshow uh, area and it gives you a little example of what each one looks like so all you got to do when you want to change these things is just click on the picture you can see it automatically puts that effect right onto your picture you're working on so again let's try another one and you can see these effects are really, really amazing. It works great. Uh, it's a very, very nice piece of software. And uh, the funny thing about the Photomatix is I've used the uh, Essentials, the Photomatic Essentials, before the company became a sponsor. So I'm not doing this just because they're sponsoring the show. I mean, that's the tip of the iceberg, and that makes it really nice uh, that they are. But I am showing you Photomax because I believe in the software. I think it's a great piece of software. And even if you don't want the Pro version, if you don't want this uh, Lightroom, you know, maybe you don't use Lightroom. So maybe you just want to use the uh, 
the essentials part which is uh, like I said 39 bucks it's a great price and it works more or less the same way uh, as the pro the pro version has things like batch uh, bracketed photos and batch single photos so you can kind of batch uh, a bunch of photos and do them at one time so that looks really cool right there so that is called creative now we can go over here to the left and we can do different things with this picture we can strengthen it or we can lower the strength let's take it down to about 70 and see what the difference is on the picture and if you don't see anything just move it back color saturation we can drop it down a little bit or we can bring it up more and saturate it more I mean it makes for a very very beautiful picture these are the kind of pictures that you're gonna hang on your wall and when people come over they're gonna say who took that beautiful picture and you say I did and they'll say what you did and um, you're just going to blow them away simply blow them away with the stuff um, and once again this is all called HDR high dynamic range uh, I've taught this in the past let's take the detail contrast down bring it back up Nah, it's probably better look a little bit contrasty there we go show more options you can smooth the highlights you can uh, do some black points some gamma some temperature and this is the stuff that the pro version gives you all of this extra stuff here that you can work with uh, shadow clipping shadow smoothness saturation shadows uh, the essentials basically gives you this top part up here which still works very well like I said and you want you know what download the trial version see for yourself say hey I don't believe Jack you know Jack they're sponsoring his show I really don't believe that it even works download the trial version try it out can't hurt you to do that it only takes a few minutes once you're done everything uh, looks good and you say I want to do that let's hit save and re-import and uh, keep our fingers crossed that it goes back into to, uh, to into Lightroom okay and then when it's finished uh, doing the save and import what happens is it gets imported back into your Lightroom and we now have it here it's called Robots HDR I can double click that and check that out we can even go into develop then in Lightroom uh, and this is what I kind of like when you have Lightroom plugins that pull the picture back in because then you go back in Lightroom you can say look we can you know do some other work here and stuff that we want to do with this and play around a little bit with it um, like maybe you want the sky to be a little bit more blue than what it, what they're trying to make it something like this uh, we can drop the temperature down a little bit of the sky so you know you can work a little bit more with the picture there um, to you know spruce it up even a little bit more so once again folks I uh, just wanted to show you this this is the Photomatix Pro version um, like I said you know if you uh, want to uh, it doesn't help me at all if you buy a copy from them but if you purchase Photomatix what I'd like you to do for me though just to let them know that you know hey their sponsorship is working out just fine with us when you go to check out just put in there somewhere that you know you've heard it from Jack's Tech Corner uh, put that on there or photography weekly you can also put that in there and uh, they will know that you came from my shows I'd rather you just put Jack's Tech Corner in there so until next time folks thank you very much for watching this video tutorial on HDR and Photomatix and I hope you check all my tutorials out here on uh, YouTube please subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you're interested in learning Lightroom or Photoshop elements please stop by my website jackstechcorner.com and pick up one of my training DVDs today. I'm sure you'll be happy when you get it and you'll be learning more tomorrow. So until next time folks, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner for another photography or photo editing show. Bye for now.